Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardestCP.com. Today we have the Barrow CH or Broach or whatever you want to call it. Barrow is a company that makes uh, water blocks in China and other water cooling accessories. This is the, from their high-end line, so it's the Barrow CH. Uh, looking on their website, it seems to be more about um, seems to be more about uh, looking good than performance. But we'll see how that all pans out. This particular block is the that's the uh, part number. It's uh, FBLITFHAT-04N. And on their website, it is named the Whale Shark. So take that for what it's worth. I had been asked by somebody to look into purchasing one of these and reviewing it. I'd, I'd never even heard of it before. So I'd reached out to the company, and I think we were talking about it online. And... Uh, the company never got back with me, but one of our hard form readers reached out to me and explained that he in fact had two of them. He was going to do two Threadripper setups and of course Threadripper was so awesome that he only needed one. <laughs> you know, the more you buy, the more you save really didn't apply here. And um, so anyway, he uh, sent it to me for review, free of charge. So let's see what we got here. So, this is in fact the uh, FBL TF HAT 04N Barrow CH. It's a really good looking piece of kit. Um, I see some things that concern me already. Obviously, we're going to take this apart and see what's going on here. And uh, previously, this has already been opened and handled by somebody else. So I'm not, I don't know if it came with a back plate or a, a protective film on it or not. So. Kind of see some of the machining marks there. It's not mirror smooth like we've seen on some, but uh, but it is it is pretty cool looking. It feels good. I don't. I can get a little roughness out of my fingernail, but as most of you already know, that doesn't really affect anything generally. Uh, the claim to fame on this one is. This little screen right here, obviously it's not plugged in right now, uh, but it's got a little screen down here that gives you a temperature readout. This little OLED screen here. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's get this thing taken apart. That is a heavy piece of copper right there. So, here's our flow plate. Get an O-ring sits behind it, as you would expect. Inlet comes in through our flow plate, back out over here. Let me see. This this is that is keyed, so it sits back down in there, so it should be easy to put back together. What we have right here, I do believe, is our temperature sensor to uh, check our temperature, and we do have. A myriad of frag harder disco lights in there as well. Let's see. Uh, well, I don't know if it's just glued on there or if it's stuck. I mean, it feels tremendously solid. I mean, I can't. This aluminum top plate's not wiggling at all. <clears throat> and I'm going to just jack up that thread in there. Well, that does not look to be coming apart easily. So. I was looking to show us the uh, frag harder disco lights under it, but that didn't seem like it's going to happen. So um, we're going to put it all back together here in a minute. Obviously, we have two leads, one for our OLED and uh, one for the frag harder disco lights. Okay, let me get you looking real close here. Nice little ring around here that's recessed into the block to hold it in there. So let's get our trusty fake die here. And let's see. So So we're about 
As far as the actual size of this die, we're, we're no more than a millimeter off width or length, so it's, it's very accurate. I need to cut open. I've got a dead TR4 here, or a dead thread ripper that I need to cut open and size it down so we use the actual thing. So our footprint covers covers our active dies, which are shown here in black. Um, my concern with this is, so our flow plate sits right here, and so it jets down so the, the, the flow of the coolant breaks here and here, right? So that is bringing our coolant back along the short side of our dies. And it's been my impressions that we've had better luck with um, the uh, coolant running across the long side of the die. Obviously, it's got less uh, length of travel and would heat up less. Uh, I know when Coolants just redesigned their TR4 block that they made those changes. So the kit also comes with a, uh, an Allen wrench, hex key, and here's the mounting hardware. And I'm gonna be real honest, this, this mounting hardware looks awesome. It's uh, got this, it's got this flat metal finish on it, and it, it, everything here looks great. These are aluminum. That's kind of concerning. They're not made of steel. God, they feel like they're made out of plastic. They're so light. So you obviously know, if you've uh, seen any of our cooling videos, that mounting these thread rippers is incredibly important. And getting the pressure down on these plates is incredibly important. That spring looks, looks really, really wimpy, quite frankly. I tell you what, it, it, doesn't, feel as, uh, it doesn't feel as wimpy as it looks. So we'll have to see how it all goes together. So in my haste putting this back together, I did try to put the cold plate on the wrong direction, and it doesn't look to be it, but it is actually keyed, so you cannot put it on backwards. So that's a good thing, um, obviously, because we have the return end down here on this one end, and so that's the reason that there's a direction for the plate the way they have it laid out. Um, one thing I don't like is that these uh, these, these uh, fasteners thread into the acrylic block instead of going all the way through and threading into this aluminum plate like I'd like to see it done. I'd make it a little more sturdy. Uh, it feels really good. It's, it's a solid piece of equipment. I wanted to uh, check flatness on this. You probably won't be able to see this too good on camera, but we'll give it a little shot here. Okay, going back and checking the flatness of the block here with our straight edge. There is a slight bit of concave shape to it. I mean, it looks ever so slight. I need to set it back up different so I can get a light behind it to see it properly to check. But I'm sure there's, there's a tad bit of concave shape to this. We've seen that cause troubles in the past with some water blocks, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get this one testing. We'll see what happens. So this is the Barrow CH Whale Shark TR4 block from, uh, from Barrow. Uh, model number again, FBLTFHAT-04N, so eloquently named. It is a good looking piece of kit, and uh, we look forward to getting it on the testing block, or the testing bench rather, and uh, seeing how it does with our thread ripper. This is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.